Hey, if you've got a smoker, then this video is for you. I have a smoker and I love doing a lot of different things on it. Ribs, pulled porks, um, briskets, just really anything you can imagine. I've got a lot of great tools that you might find to be really helpful depending on how you use your smoker. So let me show off a couple of different pieces that I have that I really, really love. So first off, Pepper Chef has these great, really strong, really heavy duty sheet pans with the curled edge. I mean, these are the kinds that are used in um, professional kitchens. So really strong, really heavy duty. You can actually see really faintly, maybe some marks from my smoker on the bottom. Um, but I've actually put this directly onto the smoker um, where I had something on top of it. Other times it's more that I'm pulling uh, meats right off the smoker and putting them on here so I can carry them in and out of the house or perhaps have an aluminum tin. And it just makes everything a lot safer and a lot easier for me because I have these two sides. This is a full half sheet. Um, and then this is just a step down from that. It's considered a large sheet pan. So huge in my house. I have two of each of these. And depending on where I'm smoking, sometimes I got several going all at once. Um, next from there, um, tongs. The tongs that I'm making. My most favorite tongs for the smoker are actually our pasta tongs. And you see how they have like the ridges to really, really grip things. So these are great for sausages. They're great for chicken, but they're also really good um, for ribs. Anything that you actually want to grab onto, the pasta little tines, they're not really tines, but whatever, bumps, actually do a really great job of very, very firmly holding onto things. It's not to say our regular chef's tongs and our little baby tongs aren't great, but those little fingery things, really awesome. The other piece that you might not have seen before because it's a little bit newer are spatula tongs. So these are wonderful if I'm doing a steak, I'm wonderful if I'm doing a burger. I can just slide under, close, flip, or put onto a platter. So I do really like these for all those kind of things. Hot. Smokers are hot. Um, what I love are two different mitts. Um, these are our mini mitts. So these are great for grabbing maybe a container, maybe a tin, maybe some kind of tray that I have on there. But sometimes, like the other day, I had a 10 pound um, pork shoulder on there. And instead of trying to figure out how I was gonna lift that safely, I actually grabbed my silicone big mitts and actually just picked it up and put it right into the container I needed to take it back into the house. So I like this because I can get underneath the meat, I can lift it up, I don't have to worry about it breaking apart. And then it's silicone, I just put these into the sink, squirt some soap on it, take a rag, or actually a brush works better, and really clean it up on both sides, rinse it off, and they're clean and good to go for the next time. Last couple of things that I love, 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 one, my chef's basting brush. So any kind of basting I might do with any kind of sauce, this is really helpful for. If I'm using some kind of bowl, it's got a little hook, I can hook it onto the bowl so it's not falling down into the bowl. And then when it comes time for cleanup, I just throw it in the dishwasher, but first I just pop the head off. So all that stuff that gets in here and gets all over, um, you know, we've got this nice silicone head and we've got a nice strong body for the handle. So they can be separated and you can actually clean them up really nice two things ready to pull apart my shredded meat whatever it happens to be in the case of the other day my pulled pork I'm going to use two different tools one I'm going to use these because they're fabulous they stick together with the magnets so they don't get lost in the drawer and now I can pull things apart I can lift things up almost use them as like a salad tosser but I'm tossing the meat so I'm able to get down under and mix up some meat as maybe I'm adding some seasoning or a little bit of liquid to the pulled meat and then if I'm seeing big chunks of meat which you know happens a lot so maybe you get a chunk that's really long I'm just going to come in with my believe it or not salad choppers which most consultants use for meat more than anything else and I'm just going to go in and I'm going to go down in and chop it up or I'm going to flip it around this way and come in from the other side and chop it up so these are some of my most favorite smoker tools so if you are doing any smoking like I am I hope you find some of these helpful and as always I'm here to help you in the kitchen or on the smoker Thanks, everybody.